And shift colors for all you sailors out there, past and present. We are underway. Foothillers in the dark jerseys with the yellow numbers. And in the green there in the white jerseys is Henry High School, Patrick Henry. Going from left to right. So those were your girl stat leaders. And we'll share some other stuff for you at halftime. The Foothillers, as I mentioned uh, before the game started, that uh, they fell behind 1-0 against Patrick Henry some weeks ago. It is on the GK Sports website. Or it was on the website. It is on this YouTube site. You can take a look at that game. Just released uh, last week. But then they came back and scored three goals in three consecutive shots and ended up winning the match 3-1. to one. The Patriots have a new coach in Michelangelo, but he and I have seen each other before with his OVC club. The young ladies, they were, I believe, uh, 10 or 11 years of age in a tournament down here in the South Bay. And he's just trying to, he's got a lot of young players on this Henry squad, and he's just trying to Get them going in the right direction. Been kind of tough. They've uh, only won one game so far, according to the max prep stats. Foothillers come in 4-2-1. and one. Last year, they won their first four games, and then they lost four in a row. Not so fast this year. They finally got their fourth victory against Long Beach Poly last night. And they only have the two losses and a draw. Sir Lopez on the soccer ball on the near side. It is sent out of play. And it's going to be a throw in for Patrick Henry, I believe. Trying to read the dual refs signs. Near side, Boyd. Intercepted by Bree Cooney. ODP player, Bree Cooney. She's on that national team. DPL team in North Carolina recently. So she didn't really get to start off in the first couple of games. But she warmed up yesterday with a booming goal. To score the third goal of the match against Long Beach Poly. In the, in the fabulous 3-0 victory by the Foothillers over Polly, a Southern Section CIF team. This one kind of got started late. It was supposed to start at 8:15, and that did not happen. So you on the East Coast are looking at an 11:30 scenario, 8:30 out here in the West, but it might be a lot better for you around the world. And if you are Watching this match, chime in, let us know, interact with us. I know some of you Grossmont uh, kids have been doing that, so we appreciate that. Kind of late night here down at Montgomery High School, so let us know that you got our, got our backs out here. Giannolis trying to track, track, track it down, and it goes off of the foothillers. So it'll be a throw-in for Patrick Henry. Mia Foster. They don't have the lights over in that part of the uh, of your picture. Unfortunately, here at Montgomery. Aztec Stadium in the central and nearly put in the back of the net by Gia Bingo. Nice service. Carly Kennedy already doing good work, only in her second game of the season. 
And you know her from last season and the season before. In GK Sports, Greg K. Porter, happy to be with you on the late night here for the latest we've ever done a game in GK Sports, along with Pablo Espinal. On the near side, the red line is the ball out of bounds or out of play. Nil-nil, still the score here in the first half. going to be a corner kick now for Patrick Henry. It's right on and it's caught by Toll. Higante putting it right there. The exterior of the short box. Toll sending it upfield. Ladeja played in the second half as keeper yesterday against Long Beach Poly. Kennedy trying to track it down and will not get to it as it's sent out of play. The back line, the outside defender doing a fine job and getting to it first for Henry. So Taylor Aguilera, the throw in towards the six yard box. It didn't arrive there. So the Patriots now with possession. 50-50 ball. Trying to get it and did so was uh, Gonzalez for a moment, but then it was taken away. Mayo takes it away, gives it over to Foster. Tonight will be an indication that the players have played quite a bit of soccer in a short period of time, and that is going to be the key moving forward for both of these two teams. And for the one that has designs on trying to win the tournament, they're going to have to be very careful on what they do tonight in trying to be victorious, trying to get the result to save themselves for tomorrow because it's going to come way too quick tomorrow. And the bruises are going to be felt if they're not already felt today because they just played yesterday. Ball out of play on a near side. Ball did, did not go past the goal line, so it's going to be a throw in. After the throw in, it's intercepted by the Patriots. Sent up to midfield, Matty Mayo cuts it off. Good, nice pass to Foster. Aguilera's pass. Caram's over towards the central to Gonzalez. She feeds it out to Bree Cooney now. Cooney tries to go wide for Giovingo, and it is knocked out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Foothillers in this nil nil affair. GKSports.org is our webpage, and you go to the top of the page, and that's all our social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, conversation on Twitter. Lots of stuff always going on in the world of sports this time of year. You got wild card playoff games going on tomorrow. Yes, this is a live stream. Big game in Los Angeles, basketball-wise. A bunch of players have played on the same team. Talk about the Pelicans and the Lakers. That game going on now, Staples Center. We've had uh, FBS football, college football, bowl games going on all week. Good stuff. Sarah Lopez will not be able to get to this soccer ball. It's going to be past the byline. It'll be a goal kick. Let's go, 
Foothillers had to stem the tide against uh, Long Beach Poly. If you watched that stream yesterday, early on in the match, and then they were finally able to take the lead, and they never looked back. A 3-0 victory. Mia Foster being bodied there a little bit. But when you're bodied in the second day in a row of playing soccer, you're going to feel it, like I mentioned a little while ago. So the key is to find a way to stay away from it, especially if you still got games to go tomorrow. Easier said than done. The physical sport, not really meant to be played like basketball where you have back-to-back -back games. I have two nieces that uh, played today and the same day played in a tournament, two games. Really tough. And that may be the scenario for the Foothillers tomorrow. High level. Battle of attrition. See who's got anything left in the tank. Because that's really what it's going to come down to. Going to be a throw in now for the Foothillers. Either team in this match is going to want to try to get the lead and then see if they can coast for the victory the rest of the way. How good they're going to be able to do that is going to be difficult, but you don't want to have to press even more by falling behind. So when I say coast, you're more about the thinking of uh, when a coaching staff trying to get some of the players that haven't played that much in the first day to be able to play out there some today to kind of take some of the edge off for the starters. And we'll see how it goes. Aguilera getting it in a heel pass from Giovingo. Nicely done. Playing it forward, but it's intercepted. Henry has played well against the Foothillers ever since we've filmed them. They're a younger team this, this season. They've always played well against the Foothillers from Grossmont. Over there on the border between La Mesa and El Cajon. The High school is in El Cajon, but you go across the street and it's La Mesa. Giovingo tries to get to it, will not. Runs out of real estate on the near side. It'll be a throw in. Saw that Long Beach Poly was able to win. Three to one against a Grossmont Hills foe that the Foothillers have not played, and that is. Randy Hills. And they will see Granite Hills soon enough. Look on the schedule, the Foothillers are going to be playing Eastlake, a team that they had troubles with over there and have had troubles with. And plan them next week. Offsides call for the Patriots, and it'll be a Free kick now. Victoria Ford will take it. We're her foothillers of Grossmont. Kennedy lets it go. Giovingo will chase it down. Controls the soccer ball very nicely. And so does this young lady, but she lost her balance, but gets back up, takes a shot. It's a tough one, a goal! Go, 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 Sarah Lopez lost her balance, but then was able to regain it and take a shot. It was strong enough and fast enough, and it's into the back of the net. And it's 1-0, the Foothillers. So Grossmont striking first in this match. Which is just the opposite of what happened 
in the very first match between these two teams when the Patriots led 1-0. Carly Kennedy was working herself into playing shape. We'll take a breather. Had short shifts yesterday. And in the match is Austin, who scored two goals against Central Union to win that match. Amy Cervantes on that second goal played a nice ball to her. Going to be a goal kick. Maddie May will get it started for the Foothillers who lead 1-0. In the night camp here, Aztec Stadium. In Montgomery High School, the grounds of Montgomery High School. Down here in the South Bay. Ball sent out of play. Ashley Oft Austin will throw it in. Instead, it's going to be Victoria Ford that's going to throw it in. Ford gets the range, always gets a lot of air on that soccer ball. The restart, Williams played to the near side, Josephson, or no, that's actually McKenna Hunt who was dumped on that play. McKenna Hunt, the sophomore, and Josephson now will drive it down the field. Aguilera up high. Jensen caught a little bit of that up high, but thankfully she's no more worse for the wear. And down on the counterattack, here comes the, the Foothillers. And Giovingo is tripped up. Was she tripped up in the box? I guess not. No call. Otherwise, it would have been a uh, penalty shot. But not even a uh, foul on the play, and that was something that I guess the defender was able to get that soccer ball instead of her. Tough to see from here. Lopez, and what she will not get to it. On a good defensive play, getting back to the soccer ball is uh, Mancari, the freshman. Showing a little burst of speed. As Lopez had other designs. So it'll be a corner kick. Coming out of the match. Gonzalez. Pion into the match now. Off the corner. Let's see what the Foothillers do with it. They're really good at it, at it as I've mentioned before. Mayo, line drive. Towards forward, but uh, she was shielded off from the soccer ball. Takes a stab at it, does not... Game possession, but winning it now is Foster weaving her way. She can do that. Foster, and she is clipped. And it's going to turn out to be a free kick. 
Mia so strong on the soccer ball. Creates all kinds of problems and will do so next year if she does go to Cal State Fullerton. That's where she's ticketed to go. She signs a letter of intent. Athletes always have the option at the last moment to change their mind. Nevertheless, whoever she goes with, they're going to have a fabulous player. Very instrumental in the success of what happened last year, as well as yesterday in that victory, nearly putting it in the back of the net. Where are the foothillers? I believe that was Austin trying to put it in the back of the net, and it was. Ashley nearly scored tonight. Austin, only a freshman, just like Sarah Lopez was last season. Austin's gaining a name for herself. Don't know if she'll make all CIF, but I tell you what, she's making a name for herself around the Southland. Ball out of play on the near side. That works against Patrick Henry when the ball goes way out of play. Now another ball is put in play. We're down 1-0. Still a lot of time left in this match. Austin almost made a few minutes ago, almost made it 2 0. You got the snack bar working here. Late into the evening. In the South Bay Classic 2020. Hopefully, your new year is going good here in the first week. This is the first Friday of the new decade as well as the new year. Saw people with still their Christmas tree lights up. A lot of people will be taking those down tomorrow on a Saturday. Getting ready for next week. And then some will keep it up for a good portion of the month of January here. A lot of people have already taken stuff down. Yeah, bingo. And then now Lopez trying to make a move, but she lost the control of it. Rosas. And it is sent out of play. One nil the Foothillers lead. From the right flank. Hunter is in the match now. Number 11 out there. Pion. Bree Cooney. Over to Gia Bingo. Gets pickpocketed and the ball sent the other way. Rosas. Shown that she has some speed. New player on the team, but she can play with speed. Victoria Ford goes back to get it, her senior leadership, and sends it out of play.
Patrick Henry will throw it in in the attacking third to get something going with Williams, and it is out of play. Just couldn't make it happen on that left flank. Time running down into the first half. Matty Mayo on his chilly night. Sends it straight up the field. Trying to get it up there to Olivia Hunter. Payan trying to chase it down. Two have played together on the JV before, Hunter and Payan. Josephson shielding it away from Lopez. Lopez still going for it. And sent out of play by Sarah. And that's called actually a foul. So it's a free kick. And Bree keeps it from going across midfield. McKenna Hunt throws it in. Getting it into Jensen. Hunt. Josephson back to Hunt. Jensen now with it. Cuts it inside over to Williams. They want to switch the field. Patriots touched by Williams. Drops it back. Then Cardi plays it forward. Williams now. To the interior to Higante. Patriots getting their passing game going. Took them a little while to do that in the last match. Once they got it going, they got it going. Boyd, her pass was just in front of uh, Hilmer. Bree Cooney now. Tracking back is Alyssa Jensen. She gave it away, though, to Foster, an intercept, but right there was forward. Clean it up and send an early ball, but nobody's going to get to it for the foothillers. But the keeper. Played to the near side. Intercepted by Foster, getting it over to Austin. Austin's pass is intercepted. Nicely done that time in the space by Hunt. Another one of the sophomores. Six sophomores on this team for Patrick Henry. Inside 11 and a half left to play according to the stadium clock. In the first half, Foothillers leading. Of course, the official time is on the field, the two refs. Payan won't be able to get to it. So it'll be a goal kick for Patrick Henry High School. Foothillers have been averaging two goals a game coming into this one. Patrick Henry has only been averaging one a game, a little over one. Matty Mayo can't go any further with it. Boyd's pass, now looking for a return pass from Jensen. Jensen still on the soccer ball. Alyssa cuts it inside. Lines a free player there. Intercepted as Giovingo tracked back. Help out the defenders. Foster tried to play it forward to Hunter and was intercepted. Lopez. Lopez. 
Hunter try to keep it in play. Hunter now still in the back corner, and it is out of play, and it's going to be a goal kick. Bridget Wilson is looking to come in. Next time the ref acknowledges her for the Foothillers. I mentioned about the substitution packages, and pretty much they're the same as they normally have been. But maybe more time for some of the players that have not been getting a lot of time. Tonight, if the Foothillers can continue to hold on to the lead. Payan. Gets a part of the soccer ball. Gonzalez got a part of the soccer ball. Stead forward with control. And then now Giovingo. Gonzalez drops it back to Mayo. Giovingo is knocked down. And it will be a free kick. So a free kick for the Foothillers. Not in a hurry. Inside eight and a half left to play in the first half. Towards that 18, intercepted at the top of the area, and then now a shot missed on the near side. But every time it is a shot and it goes a distance, keeper's got to go retrieve it. Eats up more time off the clock. Looks like Jennifer Pineda is going to come in, the junior, from Patrick Henry High. And you're replacing Hurst, the sophomore. More senior upperclassman leadership there. And Bridget Wilson. We eventually get her chance to come in the match. Thought she might come in right then and there, but not the case. On the near side, this ball is played all the way back from Maddie Mayo. Track it down. Mayo sends it all the way back to Tull. Of course, she's going to have a player run at her, and she did not get the ball, and it's a goal! Go, 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 go! Skyler Hilmer put it into the back of the net on the intercept. The mistake, the biggest mistake that Tall has made so far this season in trying to get it to her teammates. And now we have a level match. At this level, have to be really careful in trying to link up with your defenders. Maddie hit that one back to her, but... Uh, Thought that Ladesia might have done something different with the soccer ball. Did not. Did not go wide with it. And probably didn't see Hilmer until the last moment. And she was streaking towards her. And got enough of that soccer ball and was able to put it in the back of the net. Don't see keepers at, in the high school level or above do that too often. Every once in a while, even at the highest of levels of soccer, whether it be men or women, they'll make that mistake. And as a keeper, that's one you never forget. Try not to ever make it again. Tough position to play as a keeper. you got to be a director back there. Sometimes your defenders are not mindful of what's going on, where you're at. Ladesia comes way off her line and drives it out of play. Had a big run on that one that time and helped out the defenders. Good heady play that time. Played really well yesterday along with Emery. As they were able to shut out Long Beach Poly 3 0. But they've already given up one today. So, in two consecutive games against Patrick Henry, they've given up a goal. 
The difference between the first game between Patrick Henry and the Foothillers is, was the fact that Patrick Henry scored a goal on a real good play. In his six-yard box took the one-nil lead, held up at halftime, but then things fell apart in a hurry. He gave up the three goals on three consecutive shots. But do not believe for one second they haven't remembered that. Because it wasn't that long ago. Giovingo on the soccer ball. Double team. Pass is intercepted. Out of play on the near side. Substitution is going to come in. Bridget Wilson is finally going to get in the match. Bree Cooney is going to come in. Delaney Moss into the match. 15 out there. Number 22 also is out there. Have the... Name for number 22 on our sheet. Vanessa Hurst is coming into the match also for Patrick Henry. In this 1-1 affair. Intercepted by Bree Cooney. Nicely done. Cooney again. Wearing gloves on her hands tonight. It's a chilly one out there. Sarah Lopez doing the same thing. There's a foul on the play. It's either a foul or it was out of play. Near side touchline. It'll be a throw in instead. Aguilera will throw it in. Gonzalez heading it forward. Lopez wins it. On her cross, did not quite get it to uh, Moreno. Or to Bridget Wilson, I should say. And so now it's going to be a corner kick knocked out by over the byline by Patrick Henry. So Giovingo will take the corner kick. Clock continues to move here. A lot of times it stops at the two-minute mark. So it's at 148 and counting. Foothillers trying to get another ball. Cooney finds Giovingo. She hits a grass cutter. Lopez now looking for range. And it'll go upfield now for the Patriots. Mayo with her speed will track it down. Turns. Gets it to Lopez. Trolls the ball so nicely, Sarah Lopez. And Maddie Mayo in the corner. Can she keep it in? Or off of uh, the Patriots. Oh, and an intercept by Lo uh, almost a score that time by Foster. She nearly hit it inside the far post. Nice intercept by Mia Foster. Just took a step and nearly put it inside the far post. And that had so much velocity, no chance for the keeper. And it's 1-1 draw, and it's about ready to close in the first half and remain that way. Unless somebody can get a very late in the half score. Foster almost did so. Intercepted. Giovingo now. Heel pass over to Lopez on a beautiful one. And she almost got it over the defender in the space. Now here's Giovingo now. Giovingo plays it forward over to Lopez. She won't get to it. It is sent out of play. Will they have enough time to continue to attack? He probably will not stop this match since they are in an attack mode right now. Giovingo now plays it in space 
Wilson won't be able to get to it. It'll go upfield. Matty Mayo will win it now and continue to go forward, but she got it pickpocketed and intercepted. And let's see now. And I guess it's going to be a foul against the Foothillers and a free kick for Patrick Henry and a yellow card. So Manny Mayo is coming out of the match. When there's a yellow card, that's exactly what you have to do. CIF San Diego section. So Austin is into the match. And Maddie has to be careful now because she has a yellow card in this match. And that's the end of the first half. It's going to end as a 1-1 draw. The end of the first 40 minutes of action in the 2020 South Bay Classic. Hope you've enjoyed all of the action. I know it's late on the East Coast. It's even uh, quite laid out here. But stick with us, please. And we'll be back for the second half. Unfortunately, here at Montgomery Aztec Stadium. In the central and nearly put in the back of the net by Giabingo. Nice service as well as yesterday in that victory. Nearly putting it in the back of the net. Where are the Foothillers? Controls the soccer ball very nicely. And so does this young lady, but she lost her balance, but gets back up, takes a shot. It's a top of the goal! Go, 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 of course, she's going to have a player run at her, and she did not get the ball, and it's a goal! Go, 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 The Patriots. Oh, and an intercept by almost a score that time by Foster. From left to right on your video screen, and right to left are the Patriots of Patrick Henry. Biggest margin, margin of, de of deficit in a match between the two teams was in the last match. The other games that we have filmed Patrick Henry against the Foothillers, it's been nothing but a one-goal deficit for victory. See what happens tonight. Carly Kennedy trying to chase it down and does so, gets a touch on it. It's intercepted partially by Lopez. Patriots winning it, but here's Bree Cooney on the intercept. Getting it to Foster. Back to Cooney now. Cooney plays it forward over to Carly Kennedy now for space. Kennedy circles around, tries to get it to uh, Lopez. Lopez has it now. Sarah drops it off now for Gonzalez. They weave. Get it over to Lopez. She could take it from distance. And it is knocked away. We'll take it from distance and put it in the back of the net as we saw earlier in this match. The only goal scored in this match by the Foothillers. Jennifer Giovingo with the corner. Set pieces. The Foothillers really good at it. Up forward now and try to find a far post and almost did. Bree Cooney. Would have had a goal in two consecutive games if she could have got that far post. But it's for not, as Patrick Henry stay level this evening. After dropping down 1-0, come back. They've tied it up. 
Taking it into halftime, and now we start the second half. For a few minutes. Bree Cooney now being bothered that time and stolen away. Foster on the intercept, directing traffic. Plays it out. Cooney, pass, intercepted. Gonzalez trying to mark up. And now wins the soccer ball, drops it back from Mayo. We have to be careful. She's got a yellow card from the first half. Plays it forward now for Giovingo. Jennifer can square that ball up and does so. Turns out to be a nice shot, and it is sent past the goal line. It'll be a goal kick from Patrick Henry. But a nice ball played by Matty Mayo. For Giovingo to run onto it and get a good, decent, quality shot on target. Giovingo with the header. Harley Kennedy, a pass intercepted as it was intended to go to do Foster. Lopez, just in front of her. Foster on the intercept, nicely done. Blocked, Foster trying to get it again and does so. Plays it back for uh, Cooney. Nice control, plays it to the near side. Rose is trying to keep it in play and just can't. Ran out of real estate on the near side. So it's a throw in for the Patriots out of their own defensive third, and they're spending a lot of time in their own defensive half. To start off the second half. Remember the Foothillers scored three on three consecutive shots. It's not happening tonight. But the game changed in a hurry. So, so far, Patrick Henry's done a better job. He's a younger team. Lopez has it now. Tried to make another move, and the defender got right in that space before she could do so. Otherwise, a quality shot would have came again at the keeper. Kennedy able to corral it, gets it out to Giovingo, but turns out to be a shot off the side of frame. Couldn't bend it to get it to Kennedy, who was in the space. Intercepted by Giovingo to Carla Kennedy. Still trying to get her bearings. Plays it. Lopez, a hard shot, but a save. Gonzalez gets it to Lopez. Hits it hard, and but too high that time. Couldn't get it to dip down. On the restart, Patrick Henry wanting to get upfield. Having a hard time doing it. And now they will as Moss sends it across, but intercepted by Mayo, but then they get it back and will make Mayo chase it down. Watch it go out of play. Emery is the keeper in the second half for the Foothillers. Played for her first time ever on the varsity last night. Did a really quality job against a quality team in Long Beach Poly. Made some really good plays as a keeper. Been playing on the JV the entire season so far and has some shutouts on that JV team. Gonzalez to Foster playing a forward looking for Sarah Lopez, it didn't arrive there on a good defensive play. Center defender doing her job. Josephson. Near side. Looking for space. It got intercepted. Nicely done by Rosas. The right place at the right time. Played up forward to Kennedy now. Carly. 
Plays it out to the wide for Foster. Cross the field looking for Lopez. She won't get there first as Hunt will. And McKenna sends it up forward to Ferreira. Emery comes off her line and makes the save. Skyler Hilmer scored the goal on a mistake by Tull, trying to get it out to her defender. Carter Kennedy now and stretch her legs out, takes a shot. It's blocked away, sent in the central, and it wasn't far enough for Lopez to get onto it. Rosas now tries to keep it in play and could not. Carly Kennedy getting her, I believe that was her first shot since she's been back. La yesterday in her first game and today in her second game. Kennedy trying to get it, cannot. It goes off of Gonzalez. She tracks it down, plays it back for Ford. And Victoria away from Hilmer all the way back to Emory and has to be careful. And Hilmer will sneak it again and send it up over the top. And now the Foothillers trying to get it across midfield and will do so on an early ball for Giovingo. Jennifer now, defender on her. Left shoulder, and they're able to make a good play. That was Giannolis. Giannolis, the freshman out there. They're going to be better and better, the Patriots, under new leadership. Extremely young. Weaving her way was Josephson all the way, trying to continue on until she got stopped. Here is uh, Foster now. Plays it forward to Kennedy. Kennedy now looking for the right play, getting it back to Foster. The playmaker, Foster on the near side for Rosas coming up from the back now. Cecilia Rosas now on the run. And a nice service, and it turns out to be a shot. It's knocked down, but then the rebound was not put into the back of the net by Giovingo. And it's played in the central now. That could be danger. Kennedy gets her cleat on it. It's intercepted up field for the Patriots. But they find it in that back line again, and their keeper has to make a save again. So the Foothillers getting some shots. In a hurry. Foster to Kennedy now. Went off her cleat. Knows she can make better plays than she will. And this one's sent, but it is sent awry by Lopez. Three players coming in now for Patrick Henry. That's uh, Alyssa Jensen, number 10. Higante, number 5. And number 8, Jennifer Pineda. They were the starters. Now they're back in the match. Try and see if they can continue to work up field. Try to get it to uh, Skyler. About 10 minutes gone so far in the second half. And a foul. It'll be a free kick. Free kick for the Patriots. Josephson will take the free kick. Seen some tough matches against the Foothillers. As I said in the last match, you would love to try and change the outcome that it has been against the Foothillers. Even with this younger team. Emery comes off her line. Makes the save. Foster. 
Foothillers do not want to try to be under pressure a lot in the second half. Defeats the purpose of trying to save yourself for tomorrow. But as the minutes go by in the second half, that may be the case. And then it becomes really a hard, daunting task tomorrow when you're going to have to play at least one game and possibly two. Man, the competition will ramp up even more tomorrow. And that is the problem with a tournament like this at this age. The level of play, the quality teams. Near side. Giannolis just plays it off of the blue. And we'll throw it in, but there's going to be substitutions occurring. And it seems like it's only going to be one for Patrick Henry. And that is Lily Boyd into the match. Giannolis. Jensen trying to get it. It goes off of Boyd, and then Jensen retrieves it. It goes right at uh, Aguilera, and then right to Hilmer. Hilmer, and now Aguilera corkscrews it all the way back, but uh, Natalie is able to make the save. Good instincts, Natalie Emery. You can see why she shut out teams in the JV level. You're going to be more and more comfortable with her teammates as time goes on. This ball's driven all the way upfield. Off of Foster over to Kennedy. Kennedy works herself away from the defender, but the near side or pass just a little bit off. But Gia Bingo getting to the soccer ball, but then lost it. And is there a foul on Gia Bingo or the Patrick Henry player? It is on the Patrick Henry player, so it is going to be a free kick for the Foothillers. Victoria Ford will take charge of this free kick. Foothillers always a load to deal with on set pieces. Right at the keeper, and she's able to make the save. Couldn't afford to give up a rebound. Ball is out of play on the near side. Victoria Ford on a run. Ford cuts it back now. Still on the soccer ball. A hard pass. Kennedy not able to... Uh, Win at that time. Bounces around. Upfield. Matty Mayo runs onto it. And then an intercept. Mayo plays it forward just over Lopez's head. Foster not able to continue on with it. Out of play. One one, your score here in the second half. 
But Ehlers using a lot of energy yesterday in that match. Not quite the same energy today. But that's understandable considering the amount of time between two, the both of the games and the nature of the fact that Patrick Henry has played the Foot Hillers before recently, so they know him in the same section. So some different variables basically that make this a different scenario. Such a short time. Even if you did take a one nil lead. Trying to get a header towards Emery and this one will go past the byline. Matty Mayo will get it restarted. Cardi Kennedy plays it forward. He goes off that time of uh, Giannolis. But Hiller's not able to get to it. Giannolis on the near side will throw it in. In the deep of night out here at Montgomery High School. Our sponsors right across the street. Not doing anything at this time, but tomorrow they will be. Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. Affordable rates. Check them out. DentalArtsofPalmAv.com is their website. Kennedy's coming out of the match. Ashley Aston will come in. As Carly is going to be much more of a load to deal with out there on the pitch as time moves on. It's two short games. You can already see the impact that she has offered. Of course, Sminge not playing tonight. If she gets back out there. Foothiller is going to be ready for the league play. Teams of Helix. Saw them last night playing in this tournament. Granite Hills. Steel Canyon. West Hills. And the team they played in the final in Division II last year, they are in the, uh, the Foothillers, of course, in Division I this season, and that is Valhalla Norseman. Josephson on the intercept. Jensen being pressured, but still is able to get the pass off and keep it going forward now. Offside whistle was kind of late that time. Matty Mayo just kept running, didn't know for sure. And as a player, that's what you got to do. Keep working until you know for sure. Cooney getting it to Gonzalez. Uh, played it in some space right there where Lily Boyd could run onto it. Jensen now onto the soccer ball. Plays it off of Hilmer's head and then on the near side. She wasn't able to retrieve it after the header. The unintended header that time. She could get around Roses. So it's a throw in for the Patrick Henry Patriots. All knotted up in a 1 1 tie. The freshman, Genus, Genolis, throws it in. Giannullis, a good strike that time, but uh, it is sent past the goal line. But was it off of the foothillers? And it looks like it's going to be a corner kick. 
Higante will take the corner. Well, Giuliana with the corner kick. As the Patriots trying to take the lead here on a set piece if they can. Not a bad one. It goes back over to Higante, but she's able to retrieve it and sends it right at the keeper, Emery, and a little bobble, but she stayed with it. So Emery will get that ball forward to her teammate, Aguilera, and then Aguilera to Ricuni now. Or no, that's Austin on the run. Austin now still in the soccer ball. Ashley Austin now, the near side. Plays it to Lopez now. She has to turn and go get it. It was a little bit too far over her left shoulder now. Intercept by Rosas now. Cecilia now, time and space. Plays it into the central. Austin nearly got that soccer ball. Didn't quite stay there for her to get it. Ford gets it over to Mayo. Almost stolen away by Hilmer. Ford now turns and then sends it out of play the near side as Rosas can't get back to keep it in. So substitution is going to occur in this 1-1 draw here in the second half. Coming on 16 minutes left to go in the match. Ferreira into the match now. Josephson runs onto the soccer ball, gets it over to uh, Hilmer. The Josephson now playing it forward. It's intercepted by Mayo, cutting it off. Foothillers do not wait for that ball to be in a space. They go after the soccer ball. They attack it. It's part of their success. Ashley Austin now in the area now, cuts it back. To the top of the area, Austin plays it over to Lopez, and she's being bothered there as it's taken away from her. Sent up field, Aguilera. We'll watch it be controlled by Gonzalez. It's a throw in now. Aguilera jumps up and keeps it from getting over ahead. Big play that time. Foster plays it to the central. One nicely that time by uh, Jensen. Running that right through traffic was Williams. But it was intercepted at the last moment. Back the other way on a counterattack. Victoria Ford played it behind Lopez. And you can see the effects of yesterday. Both teams searching for things out there on the pitch. Foothillers a lot crisper yesterday. Aguilera now plays it over to Austin, but Austin gets her pocket picked. Nicely done by Josephson. He has skill at that and sends it forward. But intercepted by Mayo. She wasn't waiting around. Tried to get it to Foster, but couldn't do it. It's intercepted now on the counterattack. Both teams now taking opportunities on the counter now. It trickles into the central now. This is going to be a shot and a save by Emery. Oh, what a save by Emery. How she saved that soccer ball is incredible. Looked like it was going to be in the back of the net. And you make plays like that, you'll be staying with the varsity team. No doubt. Beautiful save. And Patrick Henry, the Patriots, have to be saying to themselves, what do we have to do? The game is not over yet, but to get a victory against the Foothillers. They continue to find ways 
to try to win the match. And there's another example of it. Lopez now plays it forward, but to nobody. And it'll be a throw-in now for the Patriots. In its chilly evening at Montgomery High School, right across from Dental Arts of Palm Avenue, our sponsor, in a strip mall. Check them out whenever you're down here in the South Bay. On the run. This is Hunt now. Drops it back. Hilmer's pass is intercepted. And running onto it is Gonzalez. Plays it forward now. And they're going to go to try to get a through ball. And they do. But will uh, Giovingo be able to run it down? She gets a piece of the soccer ball to the near side. And it is still in the field of play. Rosas will allow it to play through all the way back to Victoria Ford. And Ford sets it up, gets it over to uh, Lopez now. Lopez plays it to get, uh, Giovingo. Giovingo turns with it, and then it's intercepted. Josephson now plays it upfield, but it's intercepted by the Foothillers. Gonzalez over to Bricuni now. Giovingo. Jennifer now stops it, takes a shot. It stopped, and it's a goal! Go, 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 A beautiful first save, but then the rebound came to Ashley Austin, and Austin able to put it into the back of the net. So the Foothillers now lead 2-1 to one as Austin and Lopez have scored in this match. And again, the freshman continues to impress on his varsity team this season. Found the rebound on a good save. Giovingo started that play. He had good support at midfield, and that has been one of the key things as well as the success that the Foothillers have had. Not only this year, but every de definitely ever since we've been filming them. Program at the high level. Winning the section of San Diego last season. Trying to do it again, but at a higher level. Gets tougher. They move you up a level. Patrick Henry, Division II team, did really well last year. Got to the semifinal, but then lost. Trying to see if they can get there again this year. Emery misses it. And it's put over the top of frame. They had a chance to tie it up. And a player is down for Patrick Henry. I don't know if that's uh, Ferreira. It kind of looked like it could be. Trying to come towards the ball. I didn't exactly see what happened. And that is Ferreira is down the junior. We hope that she'll be okay. The way she is laying there is not a promising scenario at this point, but we don't want to speculate. Foothillers leading 2-1 to one in this game. It's going to be extra time added. About the 8, about the 9-minute mark left in the match. Players needing to stretch out. When you play a lot of soccer in a short period of time, cramps and things are start to come into play. You can see that tomorrow when it's warmer. Getting on her feet, which is a great sign, Malia Ferreira. She's not wanting to put any weight on the left foot. A 
And obviously she'll be substituted for another player. And may not be playing any more soccer the rest of this weekend. Probably at an, on a caution that will probably be the case. Unless it's worse than that. Really not putting any much weight at all on their left foot. Into the match now is uh, Hurst. Maddie Mayo gets it restarted. About two minutes went off the clock, so probably going to be added on. In a tight match, that's exactly what Patrick Henry wants. But the Foothillers can make it academic if they could put another ball into the back of the net. There's a lead two to one right now. Lopez on a near side, circles now, heads towards the keeper. Pion tries to stay with it and does so. Gets it over to Bree Cooney, but she loses the control of it. A Pion retrieves it back to Cooney. Cooney on the near side for Foster, and she will not have any room to get to it. So it'll be a goal kick for the Patriots. Trying to get an equalizer if they can. And at least come out of here with a draw. If not, play themselves for a chance to win it. Surely in every one of their minds, they want to try and win it because that's usually the nature of American sports. You want to win. You play to win. But they've played the foothillers and have not been successful recently. So they are trying to do just that. And more than likely, because they're two different divisions, are not going to see each other again this season or, obviously, the playoff season. Playing on a neutral site tonight. Woodhiller is able to get the road victory against them, 3-1. to one. And leading 2-1 to one on the neutral side. Taken away by Josephson now. Seen her a lot. Fabulous player. More than likely will be playing at a uh, Division I or II level somewhere. On a service, intercepted, nicely done in the central. But they have another chance at it. Joseph said a shot at Everest again. Finding a ball on the low side. She has made two really good saves tonight. One was outstanding. Easily could have been a 2-2 match. Giovingo stepping through players. Giovingo, talented player, the junior. Got one more year. Sends it forward now. And it's just off of the near post. Ashley Austin trying to get her second goal of the match. It'll be a corner kick. Sarah Lopez and Ashley Austin going to be around a long time together for the Foothillers. And that is not what defenses want to see in a section. Because they're only going to get better. Stronger. And in the back of the net, a Foothiller score again. Don't know who quite put it back into the back of the net, but nevertheless, it is three to one. It was served up by Giovingo. Again, another set piece, and they convert. And they get just like they did in the last match, three goals against the Patriots. And so now Giovingo is going to come out of the match and get a breather, and Lopez is coming out of the match. Save them for the last few minutes of this match because they'll be pressed into duty tomorrow, but played well again this season. And Foster is coming out as well, spearheading things out there on the pitch, making things happen, darting around the midfield area. Foothillers are in great shape. 
to try to get to the championship match at this point. I don't know if you mentioned, or I should say I did mention, I don't know if you uh, picked up the fact that I had mentioned yesterday that they were in a tournament last year down here in the San Diego section and was able to win it, beating the Helix Highlanders, a Grossmont Hills school, and ended up having to play them a couple of more times. And in those other two more times, during the season, last season, the Highlanders played very well. In fact, nearly beat the Foothillers at their place. And the Foothillers able to beat them two times and had one draw. And as I just mentioned, well, maybe I didn't mention Helix Highlanders got to the semifinals last year themselves and were stopped from getting to the final. As Valhalla beat him, I believe it was. The throw in now for the Patriots in their own defensive third. Clock has stopped here with a minute 58, but remember the couple extra minutes of time, more than likely they're going to give the Patriots. The action will resume again for the Foothillers tomorrow at 3 o'clock. They will play a regional team tomorrow. Don't know if it will be on the live stream in time, the graphic part of it, but nevertheless, 3 o'clock. Pacific time, 6 o'clock on the East Coast. Check us out for that game. That'll be against Downey, a team that they were able to beat at Jack Mashon Stadium to continue on in the Southern California Regionals of Division Three in the 2018-2019 campaign. Getting all the way to be a Final Four team and then losing on their way to go into the championship of Division Three, And the bulk of the players from that team are on this team. And then you throw in a player like Ashley Austin and Rosas. And then you're ready for Division One action. But so far, Division One teams have been able to get by the Foothillers, although the Acosta Canyon match was very, very close. Went down to the last few minutes before the Mavericks were able to win that one. It is now on our site. So take a look at that one. If you didn't get to see, uh, see it. Most of the followers for the Foothillers did not get to see the first match between the Patriots and the Foothillers. And... They are seeing him play on the live stream for the first time today. Although the, as I said before, the second copy was placed on the site. YouTube site of GK Sports. We're at the game. Matty Mayo on the intercept. Time running down for the Patriots. Try to get another one in the back of the net against the Foothillers. Got two this year. Average one a game, basically their average on the season. Chance York gets it taken away by Josephson, the senior. Not have to deal with her again. Hilmer now has it. Hilmer's got a goal, the only goal, playing it into the central now. It's blocked again, and for another try on it that time was Hurst. Couldn't, do, couldn't get it. Good play that time. And Emery is able to make the save. But a whistle. Might have been a foul against the uh, Foothillers, so it'll be a free kick. So the Patriots will have a free kick in the last waning moments of this match, trying to get their second goal if they can. They nearly had one earlier in this half. But Emery... Kept that from happening on a great save. 
Hilmer wanting to try to get her second goal. She has the first one, the only one. Hit hard, but Emery is able to stay with the rebound before the two strikers can get to it right in front of her. Didn't give up a big enough rebound that time. And that's the end of the match, a double whistle. Foothillers being strained in the second half to try and find a way to get distance between them and the Patriots. And it's tough to do when you play a team for the second time in a season. It gets tougher. So the Patriots deserve a lot of credit against a defending Vision II champion team from last year and a team that is doing very well, getting their fifth victory down on the season in Division I. And climbing up the ranks after the big victory, the 3 nothing victory against Long Beach Poly, who will maybe face the Foothillers in a championship We'll have to see. But you'll be able to see it tomorrow at 3 o'clock. The Foothillers will undoubtedly be in that championship later on. By virtue of the victory today and by the amount of goals that they scored, they have set themselves up for just that. Check out our gksports.org site. For social media, Facebook page, the Twitter, uh, of course, the conversation on Facebook and Twitter, that uh, the updates actually on um, Facebook and the conversation on Twitter, and of course, um, all that we have with our Facebook pages. The score today, three to one. The goals by Sarah Lopez. And Ashley Austin. And you have to check it to find out who the other goal was. But I think it was by Gia Bingo. We couldn't quite see, but she served it up. It might have been Victoria Ford that came in there on that last goal. So three to one. And, of course, Hilmer getting the lone goal for the Patriots. So we're going to say so long from Montgomery High School. And uh, take care of yourselves and check with us tomorrow at 3 p.m. in this 2020 South Bay Classic. So long now. Bye-bye. Unfortunately, here at Montgomery Aztec Stadium in the central and nearly put in the back of the net by Gia Bingo. Controls the soccer ball very nicely. And so does this young lady, but she lost her balance, but gets back up, takes a shot. It's a tough one, a goal! Go, 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 go! As well as yesterday in that victory, nearly putting it in the back of the net. Down. Mayo sends it all the way back to Tull. Of course, she's going to have a player run at her, and she did not get the ball, and it's a goal! Go, 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 go! Of uh, the Patriots. Oh, and an intercept by Lo almost a score that time by Foster. She nearly hit it inside the far post. Set pieces. The Foothillers really good at it. Up forward now and try to find a far post and almost did. Bree Cooney. The back now. Cecilia Rosas now on the run. And a nice service, and it turns out to be a shot. It's knocked down, but then the rebound was not put into the back of the net by Giovingo. Not a bad one. It goes back over to Gigante, but she's able to retrieve it and sends it right at the keeper, Emery, and a little bobble, but she stayed with it. Opportunities on the counter now. It trickles into the central now. This is going to be a shot, and a save by Emery. Oh, what a save by Emery. Now, Giovingo, Jennifer now stops it, takes a shot. It stopped, and it's a goal! Go, 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 go,
when you play a lot of soccer in a short period of time, cramps and things are start to come into play. You can see that tomorrow when it's warmer. Getting on her feet, which is a great sign, Malia Ferreira. And she's not wanting to put any weight on the left foot. Got one more year. Sends it forward now. And it's just off of the near post. Better. Stronger. Into the back of the net, a foot Eller score again. Don't know who quite put it back into the back of the net, but nevertheless, it is three to one. It was served up by Giovingo. Again, another set piece, and they convert.